Okay, so while I have to admit that I'm not much of a coffee drinker, I am trying to save you a couple dollars on your morning latte. While I am a big proponent of any type of coffee for anybody else who needs to wake up, right now I'm making it for my sister. Now, she doesn't necessarily like the normal drip coffee, and she also, you know, can't afford the four to five dollar latte every morning. So our solution is an awesome French press, such as this. Now the great thing about the French press is if you are a fanatic about your coffee, this is very easy to pack, throw it in your luggage, bring it wherever you are, totally fine. What you do is go to your local favorite place to get coffee, maybe some Seattle based coffee area, and ask the barista to grind your favorite blend to a French press blend. Now what you're going to do is it tells you one tea, or one tablespoon per six ounces. My sister, however, likes hers a little bit stronger, so we're gonna go ahead and put three in. So go ahead and put your three heaping spoonfuls of coffee grinds, one, two, and three. And in the meantime, I have water boiling on the stove. Now once the water's all boiled and you're ready to go, all you do is pour it in. Here we go. So be very careful, it's hot, you know, I'm not very good with this stuff, but fill it up to about the black line and right about there. Now we're gonna let this sit for about two to four minutes so that it can uh, simmer in. In the meantime, she likes her half and half. So in order to keep her coffee very hot, I went ahead and turned off the stove, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in the half and half right in here to keep it hot. There we go. Okay, so now that our coffee has steeped for two to four minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to push it down. You just wanna set it right on here, and then do a light press. Some may come out, but go ahead and press your coffee all the way down. And what I'm doing is letting the coffee grinds go all the way down through that steam, or that uh, boiling water that we poured in, all the way down. And then all you have to do is pour it into your cup that you have. I already put the sugar in there to my sister's likings. I'm gonna go ahead and pour till about right there. And then we're gonna add the half and half that I told you I already put on the stove um, to keep it warm so that it didn't um, lower the temperature of your of our coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that right in. and stir it with the sugar spoon. And now, while making any type of coffee, you're always gonna have coffee grounds left over from, um, from making your coffee. And actually, they are great in your garden or at your in-home plants or anything like that. Um, to use as a fertilizer, go ahead and reduce, reuse, recycle.